Hello everyone and welcome back to Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I'm your host. I forgot who I am. The Forgotten Land. The Forgotten Man. Oh God. Well, an identity crisis is bound to happen if you've done this many Let's Plays. Anyway, Elephant, what's up? Oh look, Waddle weapons shop is open. Looks like a quick way to grab a copy ability. Aw. I thought this is gonna be how we like invested in our power-ups. Oh well, maybe that's to come. I also heard that, yeah, it's literally the next sentence. Oh my god, all right, let's pay him a visit. Shoot, that keeps happening to me. Goodness, just finish the text box before you continue. Look at me, so cute. Well, in Wild Geese Weapon Shop, I work with all types of copy abilities. It's kind of my thing, I don't know. It's just a hobby, but now I made my full-time business. I thought it'd be kind of neat. Any copy ability you find out there become available in here. Pop in and grab one. Oh, and guess what else? I can help you with all those abilities are much stronger. Okay. The looping and things are Okay, this is not working. Let's try and evolve one right now. Continues to do it anyways. Okay. I'm a I'm I'm not, I'm a big fan of cutter. Kinda like sword more. Hope I I hope I get a uh, choose which. Thanks for waiting. The cutter ability will evolve in the chakram cutter. And the volcano fire ability can be upgraded. Okay. But what resource eats this up? I'd have to assume. It's our crazy little funky stars we got over there. Well, Chakram sounds pretty cool. Let's go for it. Ooh. Oh, it takes two types of resources. To evolve the copy ability, you gotta use the rare stones and also the star coins. Okay, so evolve them. All right. Consider it done. Hmm. What's gonna happen now? Uh. <laughs> All right, get to work, boys. We got a new order here. New funky little arrow. Gotta put a chakram on it and some GPS tracking so you can pick up the chakrams. There it is. Yo! Ugh. I'm liking this. Okay, okay. Success. Like all done. The cutter village is a chakram cutter. If you want a blueprint, so you can bring it back to me, okay? Okay. So we have to actually find the blueprints. Interesting. Wow. Could you not do that in here? Oh, sorry. I wonder what the heck is over here. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Sandbag? Oh, man, I feel bad about this, but... This legitimately fixed all my problems with the ability. Look at all this range we have now. Oh, my God, y'all. Listen. This is very, like, near and dear to my heart. I've spent numerous hours, probably too many for the nature of game that Kirby is, discovering what the best copy abilities are in given circumstances. And this, this is a whole new world, oh my lord. I mean, in some boss fights, maybe you want fire. Some, Cutter's usually a pretty good staple, but this, uh, I, oh my gosh. I gotta like make sure to look for these blueprints. Well, my good sir, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I don't know if he's necessarily a sir, but uh, yeah, that was definitely worth the visit. Now what? When you're ready to explore some more, just hop on the Warp Star, okay? Oh yeah, the new area. But then again, I'm kinda interested in the Gachapon thing. I thought Elephant would be a lot more like used in the story, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Anywho, let's see what we got here. We got uh, Volume 1. I uh, I really want the Gory Mondo capsule. Hopefully we can get him. Oh, look at the hat. He's got like those cool like pop effect stars. Oh. One of the Waddle Dees being held captive by the fearsome beast pack. Oh, I guess they are, like, pretty much all animals. That, that one guy was a turtle. Yeah, so far everything's been, like, actually organic that we fought. How about that? I guess we could just, like, get them all. Wouldn't be a bad idea. I wonder if you can get duplicates. So far that hasn't happened. Uh, that one didn't have any lore. I guess it's pretty hard to write for a, uh, just stationary thing. What facts are you going to write about watermelons? I don't know. Sir Kibble! Oh, he doesn't get a profile. The heck? Sir Kibble is a knight of Dreamland. He deserves your respect. We're really not getting Gory Mondo. Oh, well. Hey, here's the backstory on Waddle D. Bandana form. In case you didn't know. I mean, he's pretty famous by now. Like, I don't know. It, it sounds funny, but like, man. I wonder if they're like, ah, this is probably a bad idea. He's just a Waddle D. Like, you know, people don't really gravitate towards this. And little did they know he'd become one of the most popular characters in the franchise. I think that is, like, fact. 
Yeah. I mean, I've never asked another Kirby fan, but like, legitimately, he's, he's there's a lot of people that like him. He's up there with Meta Knight and DDD, I'd imagine. But uh, something I cannot imagine is what our next level is going to be. Yeah, di didn't see that coming, legitimately. <laughs> I thought it'd be a desert. Instead, it's a coastal region. Not bad. You defeated the boss and opened up a new area. No effing way. Also, I didn't have like a topic or anything. Like, I kind of forgot. Listen, I got a trip coming up soon, and like I, my whole life's kind of frazzled right now, but I'm working on it. The abandoned beach. I would love. Dude, the ball, the, the mall was near the beach. In this world, is this. Is this just the Florida simulator? Nah, there's not enough swamps. Anyway. Water level for level two. Okay, okay, okay. Bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out. Our objectives are still obscured. How terrifying. Ugh. I really got what these guys are about. Oh yeah, we mean like, like actually boomerang back power-ups and stuff. God, that's awesome. Anyway, what the crows are gonna talk about? Last time we talked about like, you know, reviews and their transformative properties. How one, what the heck is that? Oh my gosh, that is a big gator. Oh my gosh. We are in Florida after all. I want to fight him though. I really want to fight him. I don't, I don't have a lot of HP, but like we should be safe on like the land, right? Um, immediately gets out of the land. Goes into the water. This is not, this is not how they work. Is that a, is that? I don't think you can even fight him. That's concerning. Oh no, he's like totally invincible. What if we throw something at him? Eh? Don't think he cares. I forget if it's gators that are like, they can only survive in salt water, or it's crocs. Either way, don't care. There's not much over here other than the Gatchapon. Let's move. And I guess, uh, you know what? F it. Let's talk about flavors. I'm, uh, you know, playing around with that whole review thing again. What kind of flavored game is Kirby? I've thought long and hard about this, AKA five seconds, which I mean, that's pretty long for me. Bonkers, totally nuts. He's wild, but uh, will he be a threat? Doesn't look like it. He uh, got some new duds from the looks of it. So we're throwing his crazy little fruits. That's cool. The way I'd like to describe Kirby is that of a uh, sloppy Joe, <laughs> which sounds like it's full of glitches and bugs, but no. A meal nobody really eats past, you know, adolescence. I mean, I can't speak for everybody, but I know I don't really, you know, it's not it's not on my diet plan. I'll just say that much. But it's a staple of, you know, adolescence. And really, if you had one when you were a kid, you probably, you know, if you went back home and your mom made you one, would you turn it down? I don't know. Macaroni and cheese, too. A staple uh, of some diets, I guess. I definitely, me and my sister definitely had that when we were young, but meals like that, I don't know. They're cozy. You can pretty much eat them no matter what. Some things, though, from your adolescence, like, I don't know, cotton candy. You gotta take your time with that. When was the last time anybody here had cotton candy? Real talk. For me, it's been a minute. I can't do it, man. It hurts my tummy. Some uh, novels I've read, the romantic variety, mayhaps, just so sweet, so, like, I don't know. Maybe too unrealistic. So much so that like, you, you, I gotta like take concentrated pauses when, give, when just giving them a read. What does that say about me? I don't know. Maybe that I'm a wuss. Some games, however, ooh, that got us a, that, that alone got us a Waddle D. son of a gun. I can't believe that, that is so ridiculous. <laughs> I guess you really have to go around every corner. Some uh, games though, in our modern day era, I think the industry sees one flavor becoming more prevalent than the others, and uh, is like, hey, we can cook that up, can't we? And they give it a shot. Uh, what comes to mind? MMORPGs, for sure. That was definitely a thing. I believe in the mid-2000s. Maybe some MOBAs. Remember in everybody and their mama? I wanted to say Sugar Mama from the Proud family. I guess thinking about my adolescence has got me uh, reminiscing on that part of my childhood for some reason. Good show. I, I don't know if it holds up, but I I thought it was very fun. What was I? Back on topic. Now the hot thing today is to make every series a battle royale. I don't remember the first battle royale, but goodness, they're out there. Even Kirby has uh 
<laughs> had his take on it. Okay, the game's just called Kirby's Battle Royale. It's not actually a survival one. Just throwing that out there in case you're curious, but... Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. Uh, fly over here, I guess. Uh, that might have slowed us down. Uh, okay, okay. My point is, I'm kind of, like, annoyed about that. Like, just as the consumer, when one thing takes off, now everybody has to, like, do their interpretation of it. Auto chess, you know, card battle games, like, hey, sometimes, yeah. Devs can, like, put their own, like, spin on it and do better than the innovator, but I don't know. Not an Apex or a, you know, Battle Royale kind of guy. So where does that leave me? That's why I got my staple foods. My sloppy joes of gaming. Kirby and the sword. Kirby's also kind of like the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds of video games. If you played it as a kid, and the one you played as a kid is probably your favorite, even if it's not objectively the best. I'm not poking fun at Yu-Gi-Oh! fans, it's just like, I don't know, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds fans are very aggro about their thing being the best. Is it the best because it is the best, or it's because you grew up with it? I don't know, but I still stand by Mario 64, so F off. And yes, I can be objective. I don't, I don't really care for Donkey Kong 64 anymore. <laughs> this is me, dude. Every day. Oh, I thought we would, like, ingest. That's not, like, the way I thought it would go. I saw a very odd, like, image of the Michelin Man. I think that's his name. I don't research these videos, by the way. Excuse me while I spread misinformation online for the lulls. But no, he's like the, the mascot dude that is, like, made of tires. Have you seen this guy? There's some old artwork of him, like, purposely sacrificing some of his tires. On the Good Faces Twitter account, I fell in the water and instantly died. Curses. Make sure to throw that in editing. It's just very strange. Like, he's, like, sacrificing a piece of himself. Probably for the greater good. Because at the end of the day, this family looks like it needs some help. <laughs> okay. So we get a little, uh, not a rehash, but... Different take on the... Oh, gosh. That guy's definitely aggro. Different spin on the, uh car mechanic. Kind of want to see what's around this corner. Yeah, there's more to the level from the looks of it. Why do they grant this access to this here, though? I'm going to quickly investigate and see if we can find anything. Oh, there's a big tomato. Oh, I think that was it. Oh, crack three nuts open. Dump. I tried to do that with a gator. Uh, I guess that's what they're alluding to. Well, I'll remember that for next time. Not a bad level. A little calm, a little slow. More or less, I think I was just kind of getting wrapped up in my own head and trying to think of clever prose for my discussion in today's video. Wait, the sign on the... What? Sign on the roof. I do like that they give you the hints, though. Those are well appreciated. As we're still clearing away a uh, series one of the pop figs. <gasps> yes! Cory Mondo! He legitimately looks really cool. Like, it's hard to make such a, like... Simple design work. I mean, I'm very biased. What can I say? Big monkey in video game? I clap my thighs together and lol. Gory Mondo considers the local shopping mall to be his personal territory. <laughs> Who made you king? As part of the Beast Pack's executive council, he's in charge of capturing Waddle Dees and gathering food. He tends to eat all the fruit himself. He just can't help it. The behavior has earned him an earful from his boss more than one. Who is the boss? Huh? I have theories. But then again, according to the game developers, none of the games are correlated. So what do I know? But somehow, I think a certain butterfly might be behind all this. <laughs> That's such a stretch. <laughs> all right, the abandoned beach. Yeah, give me a, give me a C on that. I'll be honest, uh, not too impressed. Got a little uh, sucked up in my ways. Concrete eye, oh man. There's some sunshine energy, bruh. Not because there's a beach. Not because there's water. It's because look at all this industrial revolution nonsense. Oh, goodness. I can't help myself. Let's get to it. We're uh, surprisingly fast in the water. And the hammer ability also not too bad. What's all this, then? Huh? Seems a little walrus is uh, chucking some stuff at us. I'm a little scared to get close to that, but I wonder if I can volley it back at him? Oh, we can block it midair, though. Nice. So far, the hammer ability 
I don't know if we can charge it. We haven't really like dived. Oh, you totally can. Goodness, that's lit. But uh, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about this specific Kirby game as far as like what the devs had in mind? I know like certain people were like, this is going to be the breath of the wild for Kirby. And I like, I kind of roll my eyes because I'm a jerk. Not because they're wrong, but like, you know, I don't think that like, that's even any part of it, like at all. Or they're trying to chase the 3D gaming trend. I think just like so many years, the game's been 2D. Hey, let's try 3D. Why not? Besides, they've done both on this console, Jen. So like, it's whatever. We just made that. We pancaked that guy. Which I found out rather recently was a term from the Souls like games, where you use a big two-handed sword and just uh, you just pancake people with it, just jump at them. I just can't get over how funny that sounds. I love it. There's four Waddle Dees here. All right, stack. I didn't see a blueprint in that last level. I did see a nut. What if we got all the nuts and that like gave us a boop? Oh, if that's the case. Why was there a corn in the goddamn coconut? That don't make any sense. Come on, Nintendo. Even I know rutabaga is inside a coconut. <laughs> okay. Got some Monty Mole impersonators. All right. Look like some new faces. I will commend them for that. Some of the classic Kirby enemies are back. You know, no duh, but they've got a good mix here of like old and new. Oh. Wait. What? Mole, oh! I thought they brought back. Wait, was Mole Kirby a thing? No, it wasn't even called that. I'm thinking of the Mole Claws from Minish Cap. In Squeak Squad, you had the animal copy ability, so this is like a brand new thing. Okay, let's see what we got. Rutabaga, okay. Rutabaga, all right. That ain't no vegetable, man. This could be cool though. Let's see our move set real quick, shall we? Oh, oh. A drill power up in a, any game is really just always what I look forward to. Something about Drill Man from EXE, like Mega Man 3 EXE. It's just so cool. He's really not, though. Maybe it's just because I played the game as a kid. Yet again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Syndrome. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bragging on Yu-Gi-Oh! all of a sudden. I will say this, though. If you've not been checking out the Johnny Awesome live streams, we've been doing... A good variety of uh, indie games as of late. I've recently fallen in love with uh, one game I've shown on cam and one game off. I've really been experimenting a lot this month with uh, different stuff I want to bring to the channel. And this one card game, I guess we're taking it back to uh, <laughs> everybody making card games, goodness. The commentary, it's like poetry, it rhymes, you know? Oh gosh. Uh, oh, we could just go under with the mold, but this card game I played called Inscription, y'all, it is so fun. I am so looking forward to my next stream with it. It's gonna be amazing. I'm just, oh. I don't know, right now, there's just, it just seems like everywhere I go, I can't help but find awesome games. Including this one. Times are good right now. I don't know. I, uh, I feel almost bad, like, saying that. Cause I understand, like, you know, oh, great, yeah, life's great if you're an influencer. Oh god, you look very scary in this resolution. Goodness, but, uh, I don't know, is that odd? I'm, ash I'm ashamed sometimes to, like, express that I am happier than maybe I should be. Dunno. What is it about Kirby and, like, swimming in this beautiful coral reef, which makes me, uh, so introspective? Couldn't tell you. And I also couldn't tell you where the dump this last item is. Hmm, maybe up here? I barely got around that Gordo. That was it! That combined to give me... what exactly? Oh! I did you... Aw. Oh, okay, it was just... No, it's definitely another... Another Waddle Dee. Nice. Dang, that was... <sighs> okay. I wasn't super sold on World 1, but now... Now it's all coming together. They now have so many more dimensions to make these little vignettes of levels. I love it. it this is so dynamic. Oh my gosh. In, in Triple Deluxe, and Planet Robobot, which I'm not throwing shade, those games definitely had a... Just ugh, such an impact on like Kirby as a whole, really. I get like at least from my opinion, you know. I don't sing the pra I can't, can't help but sing the praise of the 3DS enough. Probably my favorite system ever, maybe. I don't know, but goodness, the stuff they can do in this. Oh my gosh, they must have been like giddy, absolutely at, over at Hell Labs. Like we could do this and this and this. Like I don't know exactly all the directors and like you know the credits 
Pal Labs, I'll be honest. I, I usually try and look for similar names from games to games. It's just, it's just curious to see, you know, what the chefs are at your local uh, kitchen <laughs> working on your favorite games, right? It's like, oh yeah, I've had their food before. It was lovely. Stuff like that, but, uh, what the heck? Mouthful mode for this? Ooh! I, the onomatopoeia in this series is... is even I'll admit, a bit much. I <laughs> need to dial it back a tad. And it just keeps going? Well, okay, I was about to say. If that gave us another warp star, I would have just been like, alright. Come, come on, Hal Labs. You're spoiling us. It's the second level, yo. I kind of wish I got that mouthful. Mo I missed another Waddle Dee. No, wait. Maybe it's over here. Okay. Oh, my gosh. The, the only feeling I can have right now is just like... The, the only way I can describe this is just like... I don't know. I guess hunger? I mean, I'm going to lose it if I can get less right here. <laughs> I'm just so like... I know I shouldn't backtrack, but I can't help it. I, I the, the desire. The treasure desire is in my brain right now. Mm, I've been running around here for a bit. I can't really seem to find where this optional Waddle D could be hiding. There's this little indentation over here. That doesn't seem to lead to much. Interesting. I don't know. And it does seem like there is a finite amount of time we can. Why did I jump into it like that? Finite amount of time we can stay underground. So it's not like a totally broken ability. Okay then. Goodness. Well, I'm, 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 darn it. I really, I really missed one of the standard Waddle D's. I cannot find that guy. So much for my, like, caveman brain telling me to hunt down everything I can as a pack. Anyway, let's get our grade, I suppose. Do we get that? Three seabirds? Dude, these, the, these, like, star coins are going to be the death of me. Holy moly. What's we got here? Big Kaboo! I didn't know that Kirby's enemy's name. I didn't. I learned them all. In second grade, you think, you know, they'd sort of solidified, crystallized in my brain, but yet they have not. Dude, pick up the slack and scale the cement summit. That's just so... They have a way with words. Ugh. A monsoon in a tropical... No, a cement jungle. No, what is it? It doesn't matter. Anyway, let's <laughs> tear this up. I'm trying to flex my pros. You need to be a pro at your platforming, buddy! <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Seeing him move around in slow motion, it cracks me up. This is also just me anytime I get takeout and I'm by myself, which is most of the time. Just sit in my room, complete darkness. I don't know why. It's tough for me to eat food, uh, ner like not nervous around others. What does that say about me? I don't know. Maybe it's that like food was a, uh, I don't want to say precious resource. Makes it sound way too dramatic, but, uh, you know, if there's good food around, you got to act fast. You might not get it. Something I, uh, didn't, didn't, didn't realize was not normal. Uh, I say like, hey, this is mine. You know, I got it from a friend. Please don't eat it. Take your eyes off it. It's gone in a minute. Messed up. Always gotta look over your shoulder. Make sure nobody's eating your fudder nutters. Criminal. Criminal, really. <laughs> I can't I can't complain. That is one thing I had to adjust to when I moved out for the first time. I was like, dude, no one's gonna eat your food. Why are you so worried? It's like, one, food's expensive. Also, can't shut the freak up about food in this series. Goodness. Why don't, why, why don't you eat before you record, Johnny? Cause I eat chicken and rice every day. Cause I'm generic. And it takes a while to make it good, and I want to make it good! It really doesn't, though. You said to shut up, don't talk to me like that. So I guess it is true, you are what you eat, and uh, I eat generic food. And thus, I look generic. <laughs> you got the clutter needle blueprint, okay. Now you can evolve the needle ability. Nice. So I guess rest assured, we... It's not really tied to Waddle Dee's after all. Well, that hasn't necessarily been disproven yet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you can't actually jump over there. I was about to say, look at that. You know there's a Waddle Dee hanging over there. Ooh. Not today. Not today. Just want to add a little bit of flair. It's no biggie. It is kind of odd that there's no one-ups this time around. Man, it really funnels you into the abilities you already have maxed out, though. What are you? My 
I behold? And also, Johnny, it has a name play. I know, but like, what on earth? These are super creative. Oh, they, they track. Oh, gosh. I kind of want to prefer the ice, but I can charge up my boomerang and... Oh, it doesn't come back like that. Okay. Hold on. What is the point of that? Oh, wait, no, it's pretty good. I still feel like just spamming at least Cutter, though, is pretty decent. It's hard to get close to this thing for the melee combo. Oh, nope, there it is. Easy. Why don't I just do that at the start? Well, does this give me a power-up? Oh, it does. Okay. Let me guess. Tornado? Yeah. All right. Eh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I guess it took a while to load the rest of the level. Whoa. Has it always done this? No way. Not like that. Well, I mean, it's 2D, but now there's like so much more to add. Oh, my gosh. I know I'm going a bit slow here, guys, but I just got to like suck up these levels. Pardon the pun, because we're Kirby. <laughs> but, dude, there's just so, so many new things to try out. Oh, another timed one? Okay. I get what you're saying. Uh, let's try and get up there, maybe without the... No, we need the hurricane to make us faster. Yeah. Oh, but it's so hard to control. It's like a monsoon in a concrete jungle. That was that was the saying, by the way, in case you're curious. Oh, I think that's like a song or something. It definitely is. It's one of those overclock remixes of a, a Donkey Kong song. I think I tweeted that out on Facebook. Like, this is the advent of Facebook. And a bunch of my friends liked it. I don't know why. Maybe they thought, oh, well, like, that. Like I don't know. Maybe, like, deep down, I guess I was a little insecure at that, like, age. Like, I don't know. So, this, this is, like, not cool to bring up. Like, I admit that, but, like, I gotta be true to myself. There was a time, like, the girl did not confess to me. It was the friend of the girl. And, you know, they were, at least in my opinion, of a higher social status than I. And he was, like, trying to say, hey, what do you think of uh, my friend? And I was like, I don't... What are you talking about? I don't understand. He was like, yo, she thinks she's pretty cute. I was like, I just did not believe him. Like, at all. What the What the dump? Woo! End of the story. That's it. That was the whole thing. I just didn't believe him. But what if she was being sincere? Highly doubt it. I just kind of always felt like everything was like some... Uh, what the heck? This is really cool. Some secret... Uh, like, objective to make fun of me? I don't know. What if it wasn't? Goodness. How different would my life be? Probably not at all, come to think of it. I think we have to dodge those. I don't know if we can actually fight them. Well, I'll find out. Get out of my way! Ah, don't! Okay, you cannot run into anything. Oh, the light motif of the uh, main theme again. I love it so... Oh, crap. No! I missed one! The wildies down the drain now. How do you get down there? Water. Pressure. I don't know. Dump. You guys believe in ghosts? I know this does not match what our, our current, uh, you know, what we're going for here. Probably a narrative to say for a spooky-ish level. You feel me? Oh, I'm going over here. No, I'm going over here. Ow. Dump! That didn't work? <laughs> um. Oh, we gotta use the drill. There we go. I didn't even think of attacking in this state. How foolish of me. And I'm very happy the uh, hitbox for that is insanely wide. It's not bad. But yeah, I don't believe in ghosts. But I never had a, like, a ghost encounter. And I really hope I never do. Goodness. Aliens scare me enough. If aliens are like Kirby, honestly, but equally terrifying. They'd be so strong. There'd be like no stopping them. I feel like Kirby would be chill. It's like, you guys are all epic. Also, here's the cure for all diseases. And we're like, thank you, Kirby. And go, and just go away. Wait, retry. Oh, now that's a nice feature. Mission progress and collected items will revert. Okay. This, this is so nice. Oh my gosh. Okay. Kirby 64, all right. Love that game. Cannot sing its praises enough. If you're trying to 100% that game, some levels, you, ooh. The one volcano level. We had to get through the whole thing just about with two ice power-ups. Heckish. Heckish, to say the least. Hey, we didn't do half bad there. Freeze Fulina with an ice ability. We literally got baited! I'm so upset. I even commented, they really funnel you into these abilities, don't they? Oh, goodness. Where's my retry star for that? Hey, Alex! <laughs> oh, well. 
I don't mind replaying these levels, actually. I need to go back to the first world and, uh, get those stars, come to think of it. But no, we're progressing too fast! We're almost to the next boss! What the dog? Oh, well. Kirby's aren't known for their longevity. They're not live services after all. Look, oh my gosh. I cannot turn off the grumpy boomer Johnny. Back in my day, we had game cartridges. And we still do, actually, come to think of it. <laughs> all right, before we head out, let's check out what's going on at Wild D-Town. I'm just a little curious. We'll get a little teaser, and then we'll head into the building the next episode. How does that sound? <gasps> what? It's an eatery. No, it's not an eatery. It's, uh, Waddle D liveries. <laughs> Enter present codes to get special items. Huh? Is that like, like, bonus codes? I just got Kirby's house. I'm not, not, I don't know how to feel about you guys perfectly recreating my house. I mean, I've had a, f a few of you guys over before, but I, like that, to that degree? Anyway, Waddle D Cafe. How fancy. Oh, yeah. Eh. You can now play Waddle D Cafe Help Wanted. Oh, my God. There's a mini game. Of course, there's mini games. It's Kirby. <gasps> I'm so pumped. We're going to dive in to that next episode and also evolve the needle ability because why the heck not? There's another... Honestly, just this game is so fun to record. I'm, like, legitimately forever thankful I get to do this. Like, I woke up today, springed out of bed, just sat down at my computer. <laughs> Kirby sat down the second I said that. And just got to, oh, got to work. Was it a good video, though? Ah, that's for you to decide. <laughs> oh, crap, elephant, sorry. Next time, though, we head to World 2 and also check out what the heck has changed here in Waddle D-Town. See you guys then. Bye.